Good morning, folks. We have already been live this morning because what we discussed in last night's live show has happened. On the heels of these, two X-Class flare-driven CMEs heading for Earth expected to impact within 12 to 18 hours. Yet another X-Class solar flare, a bigger one, X-5, and a Titanic CME event has erupted. Let's see it here. Wow. Enormous. Look how broadly the eruption impacts the solar corona, and that is the single most telling sign of a big eruption, and the release of a shock wave. This sunspot is still very potent, and if we get any more of these today, I'm going to start to get worried. Right now, as it stands, if there are south-facing magnetic fields to the shock wave, this could reach G5 levels like May of last year. A lot needs to line up for that to happen, but it is in play with this event. Full halo CME on its way to Earth. I think that over the next 72 hours, we're extremely likely to get G3 storms. I forecast we will see a KP8 G4 storm, and if the magnetism is right, full G5 KP9. Low latitude auroras, lots of electrical issues. By the way, the highest energy protons are even surging on this morning's flare, and that's weeks worth of solar proton energy entering Earth here in the last 90 minutes. Eyes open, mine are. Hopefully no more big flares. Enlo updates coming later today if necessary. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.